good friends with the guys that started soft life. They were commercial um, divers. They were commercial fishermen divers is what they were. And they were coming back in one day and they said, hey, man, we're living the salt life. And so the other guy went, man, that's a, that's a great idea. Let's make t-shirts. So they made t-shirts, salt life. That's how they started it. Then a guy named David, then a guy named David Combs, David Combs, who had Factivate, was a car, uh, did car paint. Then he had, uh, he had uh, the, uh, started a fishing lure company. So he bought it from them for $25,000. And then took it from there. And now we've got, you know, T-shirts, you got bumper stickers. They're building the salt life at the, the beach, you know, where the go-karts used to be when I was a kid, and the trampolines, and the... And so I, I told Tawny, when I was working with Tawny back in the day before, uh, that was all that was all staged, what he did. Right there. Anyway, anyway, That's the name of your next song but, right but there. Before, but before, I said, Tawny, I need to write a song called Salt This, you know, Salt Life, and it's all about a bunch of posers to me. I mean, people that are wanting to be like, Fishermen like or beach people and boat people like Dave and everybody, they're you know they put on a they put on a salt light T-shirt and all of a sudden they're old salts, you know. They, they go eat at a restaurant, they put a bumper sticker on the truck, salt life. They're salt. They're, they're, sort of like they're beach people. We're sort of like leather, leather clothes in Harleys. That's right. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah. It's the same thing, only different. So anyway, um, I just wrote this, so I'm sure I'm going to screw it up, but. I just want, if, if I can get through a verse and a chorus, I'll, I'll feel good, but uh, I might make it all the way through. <laughs> it's kind of that same feel as that song I wrote called That's Not My Dog. It's got that same feel. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> you love that song. It's your favorite. But now think about it. Salt this. What can you do with salt? I was telling Woody about the other day I was over sales. 95% of the world is salt. And you can do a lot with salt. So it goes. Check this out, Philip. I like it on my eggs and in my cake. When I put it on my fries, I get an extra shake. <laughs> there ain't too much I don't put it on. I like it so much I put it on. <laughs> we use it on the roads up north to melt the snow. We put it on the rims of our glasses to help us glow. It's endless all the ways it can be used. If I have too many glasses, I get confused. I saw this, I saw that, the flavor of salt is where it's at. If you use too much, they say it'll kill you. <laughs> I saw that, I saw this, man, you gotta have salt to exist. And if you're trying to cut back, man, I feel you. Yeah. Been there. Salt these days become way alive. No it's everywhere. Look left or right. There's seafood joints and clothing lines and bumper stickers. They can make an old song out of a city slicker. <laughs> <laughs> we saw like there's salt flats, salt springs, and salt of the earth. Salt even describes what a man is worth. Sometimes I have trouble measuring salt. If I mess this song up, it's all my fault. But I saw this, I saw that. The flavor of salt is where it's at. If you use too much, they say it'll kill you. I saw that, I saw this. Baby, you got two halves. 
trying to cut back man a few years. If you're trying to cut back man a few years. One more time. If you're trying to cut back man a few years. Hey, we got that on tape, that's good.